WMBF News at 6. I'm Justin Felder. Well, they've got ground and pound arm bars and jujitsu. It's not nearly a sport for the faint of heart. For the first time ever in the Palmetto State, the winner will be decided inside the cage. Anxious right now. Uh, probably once I get in there, once we uh, mix it up a little bit, you know, I think that's when I'll, I'll be at my most comfortable. Myrtle Beach's Wesley Evans is getting ready for his first ever mixed martial arts fight Saturday night at Sports Zone in Little River. South Carolina as a state, also pretty new to the growing sport, one its competitors are quick to say is much more than just fighting. And I think a lot of people are attracted to the fact it's like a one-on-one -on -one, uh, sport. It's like they call it kinetic chess in a lot of places. <laughs> It's grappling, striking, submission, and for the first time ever in the state of South Carolina on Saturday night, the fights will take place inside the cage. Two men go in, one guy comes out victorious, one guy comes out with a loss. It's like the ultimate test when they lock the cage, it's just you and one other guy, there's only one way out. The cage is funny, it was originally a, um, a marketing thing, you know, because when they first marketed it, it was like a, a blood sport, you know, and it was like 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and then when they regulated it and put all the rules in and really organized it, they just kept the cage. And the cage will be there Saturday night, fights starting around 7.30. For Wesley Evans, he's hoping to stay calm, stay focused, and leave the cage with a perfect 1-0 record. Three rounds, three minutes, and, and it's, it's crazy, man. You know? I mean, once, I, once you get in there, I don't know yet, so I'll have more answers after I do it. Rage in the Cage, set for Saturday night at Sports Zone in Little River. Doors open at 6.30. The event will feature fighters from around the country, including quite a few from our area.